Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. Today I am going to explain how to implement environmental configuration and IAS deployment in Angular application. For doing the explanation, uh, let me use the latest version Angular 18 and standalone template. Okay. So first we can start from environmental configuration. So here I listed out the steps how we can do this environmental configuration. So before that, let me explain what is this environmental configuration, why it is needed. Okay. So first we can see why this environmental configuration is needed. As per the IT standard, we cannot directly move any of the changes into the production server. Okay. So before that, based on the company standard, they will maintain different environments. Okay. The naming we can say stage QA pre-production the naming is up to the company okay here the common thing is we are going to deploy the same code in all environments okay but the difference is we may have some key values so that may be api url okay for the different environments we may have a different databases obviously the api url also going to be varied other than that some key values like email or names we will have a different values for the different environments so that key values we can use in the application running time and also making the build so let me explain the steps uh, once we done the implementation you will get better idea so once our environmental configuration is done we can deploy the same codes in the IA server okay that's my plan so the first thing is we have to create the environment files for that we have a command it will create the default files okay okay let's start the implementation Okay, this is my application. Let me execute the command ng generate environments. Okay, okay, we can review the file changes. So it's the new file, and again, this one also a new file. And in our angular.json side, uh, it's updated. So we can see this new section file replacement for this uh, development configuration. So let me open this angular.json file. Okay. Okay. In our configuration side, we have this production option and then development. In this development side, we have a file replacement option. From here, we are replacing this environment.ts file into environment.development.ts file. Okay. So the reason is from our default configuration, it's mentioned as production. So the production will take the default file as environment.ts. Okay. So similarly, we can create some new file also. So before that, we can include one of the property. Okay. AP world. Okay. And the value we can get it from the existing application. Uh, since I'm using the JSON server API. Let me take from our services. We can use this product services. Okay. So here we can see this base URL. The same URL. I am just using in our environment section. And then in these services. So instead of just a hard coding. I am taking this from our. AP URL. That's it. Okay. And one more thumb rule, whenever we are defining any of the property in our environment section, make sure we have to include in our all the environments. Okay. So if we have a different URL, then we can include. So in our case, we have only URL. Okay. I'm just added. And then we can include one of the common property. Display name. Okay. Okay. So the same property I'm including in our default file also. Here I'm just saying it's for production. Okay. So the same way we can include uh, a number of environment file. So let me create one new file. This is for QA. Okay. So we can copy the same one. Okay. 
and in this display name I am just changing this into QA. So the next thing is I am going to display this variable in our UI side. So in our service side, let me declare one signal variable. Display name. Okay. So next in our component side, we can take this app menu. Here I'm just injecting these services. Because I want to show how our environment configuration is working. So that's why I'm doing these steps. Service. Next in our UI side, I'm just to provided some hard code value and I'm removing everything using the indoor pollution concept. I'm just binding, okay. We have to use like this, okay. First, let me run this application and we can verify. I'm just using this normal ng serve command, okay. Now we can see the response, okay. See, so it's saying Angular 18 app in development. So now you may have a question. In our Angular side, we can see the default configuration is production, right? But in our case, it is coming as the development. The reason is this configuration is mainly for build, okay? So when we are making the build, so then it will take default as production. For running from our local, so we are using this server option, okay? So in this server section, we can see the, def the default configuration is development, okay? So at the same time, you have to run our application with this production configuration. For doing this one, we have to mention the configuration from our ng-serve command. So the command is same, ng-serve, and then we have to include this configuration. Okay, I'm just to providing production. Now let me run this one. So initial response is Angular 18 app in development. Okay. After the new build, see, it is changed into Angular 18 app in production. So the same thing is applicable for the QA also. Now if I'm executing this command, it won't work. The reason is, I just created one QA file for the environment, but I'm not configured in our angular.json, okay? So let me do that now. So in our angular.json side, I'm including one more new section, right? Here I'm just mentioning this is for QA, okay? And in this replacement section, I'm using environment.qa.ts, okay? So similarly, in this serve area also, we have to specify this QA environment. And in this build target, we have to specify like this QA. So now if I'm executing this command, it will work. Okay. See now, Angular 18 app in QA. Okay. Okay, this is working fine. So we have completed the basic environmental configuration. Okay. So the next thing is we can move on the IES deployment. First, let me show you the steps. So the first step is we have to create the build using this ng-build command. So if you executed the command, it will create the build artifact based on our default configuration. So in case if you want to create the build for any specific environment, then so then we have to specify the environment name. 
so like what we did in our ng sir the same thing we have to follow in our ng build also so next in our ia side we have to create one site and then we have to map our build artifact against the created new website okay so we can do the steps one by one using this ng build command okay so once our build is completed uh, it will create one dist folder in our application so currently in this top side we can see this angular and vs core okay so similarly it will create one new file dist so inside the folder we can get the build artifact okay okay the build is completed see the new file is there so inside the browser folder we can see all the artifact information okay so next in our IAS server, I am doing this deployment in our IAS server, uh, even though if you are deploying in any cloud or some other environment, the steps are same only, okay. So even though if you are following this continuous integration and a continuous deployment also, so whatever things we are doing manually, the same commands all are executed from the pipeline itself, okay. That is the only difference. The core concept is same only, okay. So here we can create one new site. The name I'm just providing my app, okay? And then we have to choose the physical path. Okay, the path also choose. The next thing is port number. So defaultly it's showing us 80. So based on our available port, we can choose anything. So I'm just providing 88, okay? And then click this OK button. So it will create one new site automatically. So also it will create the application pool. See. So default we can see this uh, .NET CLR version is uh, 4.0. So in our Angular application uh, we have to choose this into no managed code. Okay. Because it's not handled from the .NET framework. So the next thing is we can copy the build artifact that's available in our dist folder. So let me go to the file location. This is our application path and inside the dist folder. We have this browser and third party text. So inside the browser folder, we have this complete build artifact. I'm just copied everything. And then I'm just navigating to our application path. Here I'm just pasting all those files, okay? Next to from our application side, I am just to start and I am refreshing. So again, just starting this application, okay? And then clicking this browse URL. It's navigated and it's saying unauthorized access. So in the particular application, uh, we have implemented the logics like this. So already I know the password, I am just providing. okay so here we have one problem okay so whenever i am clicking the menu it's simply navigating but the thing is if i'm just refreshing the screen it's redirected into the 404 error okay the reason is the url rewrite not handled from our application okay so since we are deploying in this ia server we should handle this url rewrite so i am going to include one web config file so from the web country we can handle the url rewrite okay so i'm just creating one web config file from this notepad itself we can save this one okay and we can save this as the web config okay let's save this one so here we need to specify the content. I'm having set of quotes. I'm just including it here. Okay. So I'm just saving this one. So again from our IA server side, I'm just stopped. Okay. And then restarted once again. So from here, 
if I am refreshing once again see now it is working see the links are working fine so if I go to the production I mean not a production in the product screen I am able to see everything okay and see the application title is showing as angular 18 app in production okay so the same way we can create one more build with another one environment the command is nc build and then configuration I'm just providing QA okay okay there is the error let me verify okay it's a small letter that may be the issue so let me generate the build once again okay now the build is completed so the steps are same only again I'm going to the actual folder so it's generated a lot of files okay so the reason is this configuration point of view see the optimization is false and we have given source methods true and extract license false we have used those properties that's why so it's generated more files so avoiding that we can just give this output hashing all other than that all the properties we can actually remove okay so let me build once again maybe we can remove okay the existing generated files okay okay again the build is completed we can verify now see now now it is generated the minimal file only I'm just copying all those files and then from our IAS side I am just to stop this one and then I am just replacing okay now I am just refreshing once again so next again in this browser side so initially it's showing us angular 18 app in production so once I just refreshed see it is changed into QA okay so now the variable configuration with the build scenario also we have finished so and I want to convey one more information from the angular.json point of view okay so in this budget section you can see this type is initial and the maximum warning is 2 MB similarly in this maximum error is 5 MB okay okay but the default value is for the warning the value is 5 to KB similarly for the error is 1 MB so the idea is whenever our build size is crossed to those level so we will get a warning or error so mostly the real-time application we can expect the size is more than one MB so that's why I have changed this into 5 MB okay okay now we are good so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching